So when I was doing my demos before, I completely forgot about mesh light. Mesh light allows you to turn any polygon object into a light. And of course it would be helpful for our robots, but it'll also be helpful in this exercise as well. So I created a torus and I changed the section radius, which is just how wide the torus is. And then I went to Arnold, Lights, and Mesh Light. You have to make sure that your object is selected when you're selecting Mesh Light. Now when I hit IPR, just to take a look at what I created, nothing happens because with a Mesh Light, you really need to have a ground plane in order to see its effects. So now with the ground plane in place, I'm realizing that my intensity is not turned up enough. So lights have two settings, exposure and intensity. Exposure acts exponentially to increase the uh, amount of light in your scene. So it's a good way of increasing your light without turning up your intensity to like 10,000. You can start with exposure at 10, and then crank up the intensity to adjust more subtly. So one of the big settings with mesh light is that little box that says light visible. If your light is not visible, you're, it's not gonna actually look at the mesh, which can be useful in some artistic scenes, but not in this one in particular. Another thing that we kind of touched on is color temperature. Um, you can have a warm color or a soft color or a blue color. The next setting is normalize. Normalize um, tells Maya that you want a certain amount of exposure and intensity of light no matter the size of your object. If you turn off normalize then it will create more light depending on the size of your object. So a bigger object would make more light a smaller object would create less light. In general, keep normalize on. And finally, um, under samples, there's an option to up the number of samples for your light. This will also help with some of your noise settings um, for when you're rendering. If you're getting a lot of that pixelation and noise, you can try turning up the samples of your light in particular. You can also make this change under your render settings and um, up your diffuse light settings as well. If you're having trouble with that, um, definitely email me and I can always render it on a school computer.